So there's lots of different flavors for vapes, and I am impressed by artificial flavors. They can make something flavored like anything. Just think of an aisle at the supermarket or a flavor of bubblegum at the checkout. Or, like, I'm a man that came alive in, 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 from a time when there was two different flavors of potato chips. Regular potato chips and then potato chips fried in lard. And then the third flavor option would have been malt vinegar potato chips, which is making me want to make potatoes and then put vinegar on them. That's good. Um, and then seasonally, this was a very special thing. I'm not kidding. Like seasonally, you could sometimes of the year get barbecue and dill potato chips, and they'd make it look like pickles because dill. It was just dill seasoning. You know, like they put pickles, and it may be like some kind of milk powder or something, vinegar powder. That was all that there was for potato chips. There was just, you know, like potato chips. And then different times of the year, there was barbecue and dill. And then you could get malt vinegar, like, that was it. Like, there was, that's all that there was. And there was different brands. You know, some of them had lard and some of them didn't. Now think about the potato chip aisle. I've had so many different flavors of potato chips. And a lot of them are great. Like anything that's that tastes like a steak sandwich or a cheese steak or a fake pizza with sausage and onions and flavor, but he's put cumin and cheese and stuff on. All those fake flavors of potato chips are fantastic. But I know that it's all, you know, like mostly fake. Like there's probably tomato powder and onions and maltodextrin, it's corn or something. But so many things are fake flavors. Bubble gum, when you're checking out, they can make bubble gum flavored like anything. Pink strawberry ice cream cheesecake stuff. And the same thing with the vape flavors. And they had flavored ethers where I don't understand. I, I, I don't think I would have gone for the, the, the just flavor vapes because the whole point of smoking a cigarette is that payoff, that feeling when the hit kicks in. But if it's not nicotine and you're just smoking flavor, there's no payoff. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't know if I want something that knows how my tongue works so that I just keep puffing ether. It's like actual vaporwave that you can smoke. Like you're getting nothing. You're just smoking flavor. What's it doing to your tongue? I have vapor tongue. I have vape tongue syndrome. And it's all your tongue things are worn out because you just flavor burned out. Your, your tongue is desensitized to flavor because of all the really cool fake vape flavors. It's one of the highest paying jobs I think on the planet is coming up with the artificial flavors for things because for some reason it's part of the future. Whatever it is that people used to eat, which is just any kind of food from different places in the world. They want everyone all over the world to eat like McDonald's people slop. So artificial flavors are really important because they don't want anything to taste like whatever it really is. They want it to taste like whatever they flavor it like but they want everything to be something else and not what it is. It's like a big part of the plans for the world. That's why there's all this weird stuff about men and women. They don't want anything to be what it is. They want everything to be something else. So if you want to be not what you are, that's great. Keep going. But if you just want to be what you are and what you are is just basic human unit, male or female, that's a problem. So, I wonder why, like, is there vape flavors available now where it tastes like, you know, cotton candy, but it's, you know, smells like so snuggle fabric softener, or, you know, it's, uh, you know, like mint blueberry, but that's pleasing somehow. Mint blueberry and some kind of buttery cream flavor. It's like, wow, it's like if a candle tasted good. And sweet. Yeah, but it smells like laundry. And it's Christmas time. So everybody's vaping and it smells like pine trees all over the place. And eggnog. And whatever else Christmas smells like. Cinnamon, eggnog. And all that kind of thing. 
and then that's just you know because everybody's vaping anyway and like wow the young people are actually contributing something breathing in everybody's backwash isn't that what vape that is that why people hate vaping because everybody figured out wait a minute like so many farts or you drive through a field with manure on it you're breathing in particles of poo so people get pink eye you know from stuff like this they fart they try to make a funny video and they fart by somebody and they're like you gave me pink eye dude and like you've got poop in my eye from your air from the air of your breaking wind too close because it's just rude so it's terrible lovers do this to each other hey here's a kiss for you baby and the next thing you know you're both sick shouldn't do that it's just rude so <laughs> anyway anyway um I don't know, I just, I just, if you're going to have to, like, I know people don't like vaping, but probably it's because, like, if you can smell the vape, it's because they've exhaled it. So basically you're breathing in somebody else's backwash vape air and whatever that does to you, breathing it into your nose and getting onto your scent receptors. And you're like, oh, wow, those girls are smoking some kind of weird vanilla thing. It smells like vanilla maple. It smells like breakfast or something. It smells like maple syrup or whatever. And then, like, they're all vaping the same thing. All the girls, because Taylor Swift says she vapes vanilla, cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon, thanks, cinnamon, Pfizer, Tavaxo. Tavaxo is you while you vape. Vax vapes. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's like all your boosters, everything you need. Just get them in the mail and keep smoking them. And don't worry, you'll never have kids. Your wombs fall out. It's great. You start to grow. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm just thinking about like s smell. Like, oh, it smells like peppermint candy canes. And like that, 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 da, 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 da. So not only does it smell great, but you're getting high because anything goes, and the smells of the soma are everywhere. So you're just getting like backwash secondhand high. Like if you're in a public place, like everybody is gonna be all mellowed out because they're gonna be so out, right? Except for people that are on harder drugs in different places, but a lot of people are gonna be so out. So even when people are screaming, they're gonna be like, other people are gonna be walking around like idiocracy going, ah, ah, and then there's like, ah, somebody's running on fire by and there's like seven people chasing them because they wanna beat the hell out of the person that's, that they lit on fire. We're not done yet. It's that old poor old lady. <laughs> ah, they're they're in the Congress and they're ah, I'm in with my avatar online. I have Google Eye Vision and like it's just complete. You're just totally baked, and you didn't even you don't even have a pen. Like your social credits were taken away from you. From a da -da -da ding 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 ding. C S C S. Yeah. So, anyway, um, because I mean, I notice it when I go into public, like in stores too. Like, I've told this story before, but I've had, like, one of the good ones is I had this happen more than once. It was during the holidays, buying presents for people that are, they go to game, I went to GameStop. So, I went to GameStop, and there's all these moms giggling at each other. Not high, not secondhand high, but they all know that. The, the guys are in the back getting baked and it smells like stinky, stinky weed, like stinky, sticky, smelly, like it stinks. Like the whole game stock is hot boxed. And there's one guy on register and whoever else is in the back is obviously getting baked because the whole place smells like weed. You probably made like a bong out of video game shit or something. <laughs> like, get the clearance thing and make a bong out of the halo thing whatever they were doing, but it stunk so bad. And then it happened again, and it was a different GameStop. And I was like, huh, how about that? Must be the holidays or whatever. <laughs> so, and, um, and then I remember going to, again, th this was in the summer, different time of year, different year. This would have been 2010, because I remember where, where I was. And it was Family Dollar, and the whole place 
Like there was a line of people, one girl on register, and there was a bunch of people there, and they were all in the back. And the whole stink of marijuana was wafting through the whole store. And all these people waiting in line knew that the people were in the back getting high. And then it was a bunch of adults and old people. So they just started complaining to the back of the store. So everybody in line started complaining. Somebody get out here. Get out here now. There's a whole line of people. And then people were making... I don't remember anybody saying bongs or whatever. But it was just transparent. It was obvious. So anyway, I'm just wondering, you know, like, do they make vapes that just smell like whatever you can think of that you might like? Your, a bubble bath from your childhood. A favorite cologne. Can you combine scents to make just like a weird thing? Of like, you know, I don't know. I, and then it's like flavored, like, because it's all fake is the point. So it should be able to, like, vapes should be able to smell like anything. Like, you could smell like a shit of a fart. It's like sulfur vape or whatever. It smells terrible. But the flavor could be, like, delicious, like, chocolate peanut butter cup or something. You're like, yeah, it's disgusting. It smells like turds or something. But then it tasted great or whatever. Or it could be horrible. Tastes terrible. Oh, it's a novelty vape. And smells great. Here, try this. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, what is that? A raspberry ripple rocky road. And you're like, yeah, it smells like that. And then the person breathes it in. And you're like, what is that? Oh, it's mustard. What? Mustard fart, actually. And you're like, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just fake chemicals. It's just chemicals. Or there's just one that zaps you. <laughs> The shocker pens, remember that? That was like a fad for a while. And everybody was like, oh, cool. And it was a pen, and you give it to somebody, and as soon as they touch it, it shocks you. That's mean. And then it's just the game for young people. I watched my progeny do this. <laughs> and people old enough to know better. And they just passed this pen around. And then the game be became to hold on to it for as long as they could until it just hurt too much. And I let go. That's dumb. That was the game of it. The game was to see how long you could hold on to the thing until it hurt too much. It was stupid. Because you could just probably do it for a long time. Um, but anyway, my point is you could probably make the vape smell like anything. And I would much rat like, I don't know, I like the idea of, I know it's completely unnatural and wrong, and maybe this kind of stuff already exists. But I've been into a bunch of the different vape shops where they have CBDs and Deltas and all that stuff. And there's just so much selection. And just the lights and everything's all vaporwave. It looks like, like it's a great place to go into already pre-gamed. But then how could you ever make a choice to buy something? And then probably the guys in those shops are like, hello, my friend, here this. And then just give you the thing that's like the thing that has the most high. And like, oh, look, it's Deltas. 8 through 12 or whatever and then it says HPC T P D D D B B it has all these different shapes and pyramids and shit and then you're like oh like this one has everything and then they sell you that and it's like you know like a week's worth of dope but anyway the point is I have no idea what all the flavors are because they have all these different flavors of stuff but the flavor doesn't have anything to do with the packaging like, I remember saying one, I don't remember what the flavor was, but it had snake and blood splatters. And I was like, oh, look, the serpent and blood, human blood, I guess. And wrapped around the box. And then it was like some kind of sativa. And then they had all these different ones of like artists. It's Frida Kahlo something flavored, like whatever. Frida Kahlo mint. Picasso, sour apple, whatever. And then the Vincent Van Gogh one was GMO cookie. And it was like, what does GMO cookies vape taste like? And it didn't matter because I looked at the label and it looked like it had a bunch of stuff that was going to knock you on your butt. Like if you hit it enough times, you're basically just going to be baked. You know, like legally, you can just go buy them as long as you're an adult. I didn't realize this stuff was so strong. And maybe you've seen the episode where I did where I have one of these vape things, just to try them. And I was like, wow, this just knocks you on your socks. 
and in different times people will hand me a thing and I've tried them and I was like oh man now I'm going to be here a while because just like breathing in some kind of CBD thing that's not even hemp that you can just buy is like basically to me as far as I can tell the same thing as being high so it can smell like anything like why not make it smell like cologne or like what does it do like what if people I know they don't want people in the future to be attracted to each other but imagine if you meet the love of your life because the vape she was smoking smelled like some kind of really like a perfume you liked but it wasn't her perfume it was like she was vaping a scent she designed online and they just send you the cartridges <laughs> and then it tastes like rose hips and cinnamon water whatever the hell women like or something and tangerine hint tangerine whatever the hell but then it smells like something that really turns you on or whatever and you're like i met your mother she used to do before they took one of her lungs out she used to smoke vapes all the time it was like my favorite thing it always so whenever i smell those vapes it reminds me of your mother and what it was like to just sneak up on her when she sneak up on me rather before she always breathed like because you know how she breathes now <sighs> And, well, your mother used to be really quiet. She used to stalk me and come up and sneak attack me and hug me and give me kisses. So she still does that. And I thought, well, actually, I am deaf, but I have to pretend like I can't hear because I can hear that beast. You know your mother, how she sounds. She's got one lung. Just be nice. Sounds like Chewbacca in heat. Like always. You know this. It's your mother. And we did see that dirty Wookiee movie that you never should have seen. Uh, but anyway, I love your mother. And I love the vape that she smelled like because she was like a little girl designing cigarettes that took away one of her lungs. It was like a little girl in a perfume shop. And then she came up with that, that scent that I fell in love with. I was like, what's that smell? It smelled like flowers and it reminded me of something of my grandmother's funeral flowers or something. I never forgot it because I could smell, I was like, ah, I can actually smell the flowers. They were gardenias or something. So I always remembered it. And then that's what she was vaping. And I fell in love with her. And then she showed, let me see her boobs. Forget I said that. And whatever it is, how people meet when they fall, have fall in heat with each other. And then they stayed. I guess we're a family now. And that's how you got here. And we love you. People will still stay. They will still want to stay together. It's going to be frowned upon. But anyway, my point is, what if people in the future fall in love because of like, she smelled like vanilla rama. It's a flavor. She smelled like that thing with cinnabons where you can tell that it, that it, it, the scent has sprinkles in it. I don't know how to describe it, but it just smells like sprinkles. And she used to, she used to vape it, and then she breathed it on the back of my neck, and it had those chemicals of girlfriend experience in it, and she got me, which she was trying to do, because there's like that girlfriend experience cologne. And you just have to somehow get it on the guy's, touch the guy's neck or whatever. And he's having girlfriend experience. And then you're there. It's like getting some, it's like dosing somebody. But since it's women doing it to men, or trans, whatever it was that they would do. Anyway, women are allowed to do it. It's basically dosing somebody and giving them girlfriend experience. They call it girlfriend experience perfume. It gets you hot. It's a weird thing. But anyway, um... <laughs> Hey, but anyway, I'm just saying vaping, you know, like it could smell like vaping could smell like a Whopper hamburger, right? Like people, there was this cologne that said Whopper smell, but Whopper smell just smells like onions. And everybody knows that onions is the BO stereotype smell of Caucasian people. Why does it smell like onions with a hoagie in here, red onions? That's white people are sweating in here. And then the black people smell like cheese curls. And the Indian people, of course, smell like curry. And Asian people, whether Chinese, Japanese, or, you know, tag Thai or whatever, they all smell like soy sauce and part onions and a little bit of curry. And then, um, you know, so there's different, the people smell bad from all over the world. So I don't think cologne, well, actually, that stuff is going to go over well. There's probably going to be people just smoking, lonely people, and just smoking, like, oh, what does that smell? It smells like a bait shop in here. And you're like, oh, 
I know what that's supposed to be. Somebody's just vaping. That's the scent of a woman. And you're like, what? It smells like it smells like a locker room in here. And you're like, yes. Yeah, somebody's. Do you know what street we're on? This is the old Castro. It's everybody's just vaping because of the drones. There's no hanky panky. That's not allowed anymore. So, in the future, if you go to the really dirty places, they're just vaping. Sense of a gym or whatever. <laughs> it's something gross. Locker room towel exchange scent. Well, they all taste like your favorite candies and peppermints and chocolates. And, I don't know. I can't even think of what people like anymore. Like I don't big. I don't think about candy anymore. Like you can. They can do anything. I remember when my sister was a kid. She was the one that cued me into like. She would just try it. They had all this stuff, man. 80s kids. They just made anything out of cornstarch and like put a goo in a tube. I mean, there were so many different products that were like some form of toxic waste, sewer sludge, you know, tailpipe drip syndrome bursters. And it was just all this like, like food and neon candy and stuff that burns your tongue and that, all that tongue burning stuff came out of the 80s there was these candies called like hot tarts or whatever and you would eat them and it would burn your tongue so the thing at school would be to eat too many of the candies or the sour lemon candies and too many of them you would want to spit them out and burn your tongue because of citric acid or both of them probably whatever's the cinnamon peppermint candies so that was the game of it but then I since the candy companies figured out that that was the game of it. Then they're like, we'll make them sour. And then kid, kids like stuff when it dyes their tongue. So then it became a novelty that went into the 90s. And I remember all that stuff. I'm like, all this stuff is just to be disgusting. Where the kids are sticking out their tongue because the gumball has like, like poisonous amounts of like black dye or whatever the stuff's made out of. And like the, for a week, the kid is a spot of green, spot green tongue. And um, they made these candies that you, the kid couldn't even eat. It was just a boulder. They were called boulders. They had these things. They were called jawbreakers. Maybe they had them in the olden days, but not like they had them in like the '90s and early 2000s. They had these jawbreaker things. I was like, you have to break them to eat them and you could suck on the pieces. It was just like a novelty of here's a huge ball of sour sugar. And it was just like, here's in defiance of stuff, in defiance of health, here's a thing that burns your tongue when you eat it. They made all the super sour stuff and they have like, um, I don't know, I don't remember the, I remember the mascots and it was like, somebody's head exploding with an atomic bomb blast coming out of somebody's head and the whole point was can you to to tolerate the atomic it was like atomic bomb blast or something atomic hot heads or whatever they probably still have all this stuff if you go to honor num honorable number one dollar tree or honorable number one dollar 25 tree or whatever it is whatever it's at now um you can probably still get all that stuff that's supposed to burn your tongue on purpose. People just pop them like candy now, right? <laughs> so anyway, they can make the vape flavors like anything. Like you know, you know from candy aisles and bubblegum aisle and everything else that they have like flavors of everything. And for years they had all the vape flavors and it had the vape flavored air with no payoff, I can only imagine. No nicotine even. Which just seems dumb. Might as well smoke, pretend to smoke on a carrot stick or celery or something. At least you can eat that. Flavored, ah, oh, wow, it's it, it's flavored like names, like tacos or whatever you like to eat. That just sounds like, you'd just be hungry, right? It's gonna activate your salivary glands with no payoff, you're gonna have stomach problems or something. I don't know. I don't know what vapes would do you, but um, like think of your favorite fabric softener and detergent or something. You could just be vaping that, and you're like, "Oh, it smells good." Like, remember when people were allowed to have laundry, and my grandmama did laundry, 
and it would smell so good and it was warm and she would dump the laundry on you or whatever, like memories of childhood and stuff like that. And you're just like getting high, watching cartoons. Oh man, I used to love this cartoon, man. It wasn't about anything. Everybody was friends. They didn't really have adventures. Stuff just kind of happened. It seems like it was writ by really high people, but it was like for kids. And now we're really high old people. And it's all nostalgia about like, like this is the cartoons we had when we were kids. You know, except that they're old and they have tattoos and all that messed up. That's Soma. But anyway, um, like pickles or whatever. <laughs> I'm t I know I'm, they probably have all this stupid stuff somewhere in this place. I think I still have a little vape bottle of I don't know what you're supposed to put it into, like cartridges or something, of Ecto Cooler. And I did use this. I forget how though. And it did. It did taste like I don't know what Ecto Cooler tastes like, but it did taste good. It was like some kind of citrus thing, like some kind of like orange, orange drinker or something like like orange Julius type of thing, or something like that. I was like, ah, it's pretty good. I'm just thinking about it now. I'm like, what kind of vapes would I like? I would love some kind of we um, like THC thing that you can get high with. I don't really do that anymore. Like like a cream sickle, that would be delicious, right? Like it's like, oh wow, this is like cream sickle pot or whatever. Um, but I mean, I've had so many over the years, just like different flavors of things. I have a whole cabinet full of flavors, some real, some artificial, of like, here's butterscotch, here's caramel flavor, here's coconut, raspberry, strawberry, vanilla. Banana and butter flavor, and I have whatever else I'm missing. All those things I mentioned, those are all right over there in the cabinet of cooking flavors and stuff that I have. Cherry, that's another one. Cherry flavoring, and they flip them over. They have like the French names, Charis or whatever. So I have all these different flavors. So I know something about flavors and extracts and stuff like that. I used to use them. I briefly had a business and since I was manufacturing like vegetarian fake foods, you were usually utilizing flavors constantly. Like if you want to make fake meat or fake taco meat and stuff, you're going to need cumin. A tomato, some kind of tomato f like sauce or powder or something. I used to buy tomato powder. That's not the easiest thing to get. You would think that tomato powder would just be something you could just get in the supermarket like all the time because people would buy it on the regular. People would use tomato powder all the time. But it's not the easiest thing to get. I don't know what it is to get anymore. But if you grow a lot of tomatoes and you dehydrate them like I did last year, I had a lot of tomato powder. It's an excellent thing to have. It makes like, that's how you make good barbecue potato chips is with tomato powder and cumin and mesquite powder. That's barbecue potato chips. You know, and then salt and probably sugar or something. Um, so know about flavoring things and cooking things. And making them taste good with minimal stuff and using a minimum of things, three, four ingredients to make something really pop out. And you're like, yeah, it's delicious. And you're like, yeah, it's not much. You tell them what it is. And you're like, yeah, you just actually taste the thing. You just, some salt, maybe some, I have parsley now. So I'm not gonna just go into my yard or whatever. The point was like flavored vapes. It could be anything. It could be like, oh man, it smells like summer dog shit or something. I don't, I don't know why you'd want that, it's disgusting. It'd be a public nuisance, you should like, like, Ah, oh, who's who's the idiot that came, this vaping skunk, <laughs> and, they, and they're just trying to be a jerk. They're looking for trouble. They're like vaping skunks and want somebody to beat the hell out of them. Some people are weird like that. I don't know, but you know, if you make it, some or somebody's trying to like not get caught. Like kids are trying to like bother people for a phone, obviously for a phone video, and they're like vaping something that smells like, like. Thank, day after Thanksgiving turkey or something. It smells like farts or whatever. And they're just like, ah, oh, what does that smell? And these kids are vaping it and they're getting blasted because they're not old enough to do that. And they've stolen their sister's turkey fart 
day after Thanksgiving vape thing. I don't know why your sister would have that. There's something wrong with her. There's all suddenly people like, just vaping like wet dog smell on a rainy day or whatever. whatever. <laughs> yeah, but you understand, it tastes great. It's really, you understand. It's like Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Remember when we were allowed to have gum? Before it wasn't climate friendly, chewing was like releasing, the chewing of gum was releasing too many carbon gases or whatever, whatever they don't like. But it's okay if you vape Huxley's Soma by whatever brand name. <laughs> so I don't know, I just wanted to keep going. I guess I should have been prepared and I should have just thought it out and come up with a you. A list of just like new car smell what what do you want a thing to, oh it's like when you put video games because that was a thing I remember people saying like oh it's that the, the, the smell because it was a smell of like of the plastic of the video game console would get heated up or the games or both and you could smell it it was the, the smell of playing video games was hot plastic outgassing I guess <laughs> so uh, so a vape that I probably would like stupid shit like that like oh it's like opening a toy or something and just smells like plastic or like people are like oh it smells like don't nobody light a match it smells like gasoline like no somebody's somebody's vaping smell of sulfur lit match somebody else is vaping the smell of gasoline and you're like wait a minute does that mean I'm huffing you're like no it's all totally artificial it's not really gasoline it's just a molecule moved over to so and so blah 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 it's like gas station rhino it's just like another version of speed except that it's not speed and it smells like gasoline and it's not really harming you it's just his backwashed air that he breathed out and now we're breathing it in and that's why you're not minding so much because we're all getting high because everybody's smoking something and we don't know what it is anymore there's no way to keep track of it over there you can tell that she's booze and pills and there's like three booze and pills over there and we're just congregating because that's why we call it the congress and we're all kind of like vapor waved out and we're all locked into our own like version of reality and stuff and a lot of us have earbuds in and an eyepiece or eye chip or whatever it is they put a thing and a pin in your eye and you're just like online and you can see people as their avatars how they want to be seen you know what the real version of me is a fake skin over top of what I really look like in like you know Google Vision I don't know I just think of people a lot of, a lot of people are going to be if they're lucky enough to be walking around at all and they can be they will want to be wearing headsets you know like like when all those things that went in clearance for like the last several years where it's like how many times are they just going to keep having a company like how much money do companies need to lose on a headset you wear to put your cell phone in and that's virtual reality like people know they know that if they want to you know like they can, somebody gave them one all right i don't have any but i hate phones but like doesn't every third person have some kind of thing you can put your cell phone in that's adjustable and then you put it in front of your face and then you can get a headache <laughs> Like, how many years have I seen that stuff, like, at clearance, or just like, yeah, no, like, why do they still make them? Why do they still make virtual reality goggles? It's just the thing to put your phone in, to put your phone, like, less than an inch in front of your face. That's all that it is. Or, this is the safe one, and it's, like, a little bit further away from your face, and has a screen that goes down, and it's made out of magnets. It's magnetized copper. It blocks the rays. It's actually good for you to look through it. The copper radiation is Victor Schauberger, whatever. So anyway, um, I just think that it could, sm like Christmas cookies is a smell, right? Like, I know that smell. I guess it's just lots of cookies with lots of butter or something. So I know the smell of all that stuff, gingerbread cookies. This is all stuff you can vape probably, right? You can just get this stuff. Halloween, pumpkin spice. Um, bake maple bacon vapes. I don't know. I probably have everything, right? But I'm like, well, if they have everything, then it could be like fabric softeners and detergent, spring laundry, 
the smell and the, whatever the ocean smells like. Um, you know, like spring dew in the country, crisp winter air, uh, fresh linens, pine trees, autumn spruce, you know, whatever. You can have something that smells like pine trees, but it's autumn and it has like a hint of maple syrup in it because maple and that's a tree. I don't know. I don't know much about what trees smell like. Summer begonias, whatever it is you think of, like roses. People vape rose. So they probably do, right? I don't know. There's like patchouli. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. Let me say it could be anything. It could be naga champa. I don't want that either. But it could be incense flavors. Like it could be flavored like anything. What does it taste like? Cherry, like fake that fake cherry, like a raspberry snow cone thing. It just tastes like shit. But I keep puffing on it because I like the way that it smells. It smells like Nog Shampa. I don't know. I was trying to think of other things that people like. Oh, it smells like incense from church. That'd be a cool one, right? But probably against the God or something. I don't know. But anyway, it could smell like anything. For, wow, like. Nobody really can have frankincense anything because it's so expensive and hard to find. But I love vaping fake frankincense and cloves. It's actually real cloves. But the frankincense is obviously not real frankincense. But doesn't it smell good? Yeah. It smell. I went and I had a special formula made and I got pretty close to what I remember being my father's cologne. I forget what it was, it was quaint. It doesn't exist anymore. I think it was something called like Old Mariner's Spice or something. I don't remember what it was. Something like that. And the mascot for the for the cologne was the guy from the Evil Dead with the chainsaw hand. And that's what he smelled like. He smelled like the sea. And the sea smelled like, I don't know, just Old Spice. But you know, in the future they won't know that. And everything's all twisted. And AI art distorted reality and everything. So young people just don't know. You have to be a relic like me. <sighs> so anyway, um like Plato, like did have like va like I'm just trying to think of anything just to keep talking to you. That smells like right guard or secret body deodorant. Or like dead fish. It could be anything. So toothpaste, smell of toothpaste. Remember when we were allowed to brush our teeth before everything was just powder that you brushed, you scrubbed your teeth with powder, and you put them in a jar. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go. But I just, I mean, like. If that isn't happening already, and I can't help but think that even if it's not the most popular thing, it's going to become a bigger story than it's been so far. The idea of just like anything you can think of can be a flavor. Like probably even to me, the idea of something that actually smelled and tasted like cheese, that would be good. Like if it was like cheddar cheese or something, it was like, oh, that actually tastes like it. Which would probably be, could be gross. It's like not cheddar cheese or whatever. It's like Cheez-Its. And you're like, ah, oh, that's weird. It tastes like Cheez-Its. Because they figured out all kinds of stuff. I remember, and everybody else knows what I'm talking about too. Years ago, everybody figured out that those jelly beans that taste like buttered popcorn are like the best ones. Oh, no, they're really good. Or like, I know that I myself would like a vape that just tasted like cola. Not Pepsi or Coke or any brand names, just like regular cola. They probably have this. They probably have some kind of vape that just tastes like plain cola. That would be fantastic. The idea of nicotine, like I, I don't I don't know. I know they changed the vapes. They're not healthy or whatever they did to you. It's like poisoning, turn plasticize your lungs or something. So I don't know if they have flavors again in vapes. But I can't help but think that I would like 
the the cola flavored vapes because I always like those gummy those gummy soda bottles. It's just gelatin, but it had like it was flavored like like soda. Those are good. I mean, I haven't had that in years. Maybe I should eat that stuff before you know you can't you have candy anymore. It's not allowed or whatever. It has to be made out of bugs or whatever. Maybe I need to eat some gummy gelatin. It's probably still made out of Chinese baby bones or something. Honorable, you caught a jelly made out of Chinese baby bones. Whatever. I don't know why I need to say it in that horrible accent. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's probably all poison. You shouldn't do any of it. But I like the idea that, like, like, the flavor combinations, you're limited by your own creativity and the scents and smells. I already know that it's a thing that people can go online and they can have their own scent made and stuff. And they have kits, because I bought it for a present. And it was kits where they can make their own different f scents of uh, perfume. And it was made so you went, the kids wouldn't burn their eyes and stuff. <laughs> and, but they could mix and match and they can make their own stink. You know, I said, make, you know, make, do this with your mom, but, you know, I'm sure it was a lot of fun. I, maybe I need to check in and find out how they, so did it smell good or did, like, nah, it all smelled awful. It smelled like cat pee and we dumped, we dumped it in the toilet. And for a week, the toilet had this awful smell coming out of it. It smelled like part flowers and part, like, uh, you know, some, I don't know, pee or something, something awful. You know. So anyway, that's enough for me. What weird things do they have that are like things from life? You know, I mean, disgusting, obvious things. You know, like, I don't need to hear that. It's a pile of shit or, you know, whatever. I don't, that, we know that already, that's obvious. Oh, like, like this would be one. Like somebody's vaping the smell of dead bait. Like when you, like somebody had, when your dad says, hey, go check the bait in the fridge, make sure it's still good. And then you check, and you find out that it's not still good anymore, and that they're all dead. And you have a bunch of dead, dried up worms that smell awful. You know, but it tastes, it's, it tastes good. It's confusing. It tastes like buttered popcorn, but it smells like dead worm, dead bait. You know, so going disgusting is easy. But now that I'm going to end this, and this is the last thing you'll be hearing for this episode, what are cool things that a vape could smell like and or taste like without being obvious or crude? Because, you know, everybody, like the most popular flavor would be like woman, right? Like the, everybody would just be smoking the, the, the one that tastes it. They're like, this is what it's like. You know, like, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. But. I sure love smoking them and I just keep vaping the scent of a woman. It's got Al Pacino's face on it. Hoo ha! You know, and then it, that's the flavor. Hoo ha! It's got big hairy bush on it. Whatever. <laughs> Butthole flavored. That'd be probably very popular. I don't know what. It's just the degradation of man, obsession with that. Putting your nose in there. Gross. Nobody wants to. People are like, oh boy, whew, this is a smelly part of town. It smells like a bait shop, it smells like a locker room in here. Some people are going to love that. But but the flavor, oh, it's going to be great. The flavor is going to be like Werther's Originals at your grandparents and it smells like ass. <laughs> it's like spearmint and peppermint and chocolate Rocky Road ice cream. But it smells like wet hound or whatever. Because I look, I remember when my dog used to come in from the rain, and that he would always try to dry off. So he would rub, he would try and hug me, but he's really trying to get dry. And that was the most affectionate I ever had as a kid. So I always vape wet dog cigarettes, e-cigs or whatever. <laughs> the drones would deliver them. You know, and it's not like a perverted thing. It's just like a thing because it had no love. It's the closest some people, you know, like in the future where they say no one will have the love of a family. Well, some people had pets and they needed to dry off because it rained a lot. And it was acid rain. Some people equate that with love. 
So you're vaping wet hair, this, or wet, whatever wet cat smells like. I don't know, we didn't have cats when I was a kid. What, I don't know what that smells like. Same thing as a wet dog. Mm. So, shampoo, Irish Spring. Oh man. I, I fell in love with my girlfriend. I, I used to vape Irish Spring all the time. Her dad used to always wear Irish Spring. And her dad died in the robot wars. So I was just, it was just what I liked. And then she liked the smell of that. And she said, I couldn't figure out what it is I loved about you until you had snagged me already. And I remembered that my father that died horribly and violently in the robot wars, trying to protect an orphanage that was easily destroyed. Um, he used to always smell like Irish Spring because I never forget because it was some of the last of the showers everybody had before I had to take a bath in sand, recycled sand. But anyway, Irish Spring. I used to vape it all the time because I could afford it with my social credits. I used to get a lot of eggplants sent to me from my shows. Yeah, I was in the army. Yeah, people, the guys with money like the military, and smart, I decide the smart cities like the military dudes. I was one of those. And he said, vape Irish Spring, and that's how I met your mother. And then we grew you. You're, you're our first CRISPR kid. That's why you're gonna inherit our life pod, which is also gonna be our death pod. But then it'll be your life pod until it becomes your death pod. You have one, you can grow one kid. We had several. That was only because they didn't live. But you did. And now we're gonna have to Logan's run ourselves. And then you'll become we'll become your nutrition and we'll be like we never left, you'll be a part of you until you excrete your bowels. And then whatever trace of us does become part of your I'm I'm sorry, do I need to go on? I know you're getting a bit emotional and that's the last thing we would want. It's you that any child of ours that we grew in hatchery, raised by Lenina, would have to have a feeling. No, it's just not fair. We would never want you to have to do that. Here, vape this. What is it, Dad? I don't know, but it's going to knock you out. Look at that. It has like a triple serpent on it. So I'm going to go.